Hi everybody, I'm Rachel from Mrs Rachel Brady. If you're new around here then I'm a mum of two, soon to be three. I've got about eight weeks left until this baby boy is due and I have an eight year old boy and a six year old girl as well, well almost six. I blog and vlog about family, food, home and style and today's vlog is a Tesco haul and also a weekly meal plan. The Tesco guy has just left. Uh, so first I'll show you the weekly meal plan. So let's see so you guys uh the arrow denotes where we are now so that is where we're starting and for tea tonight we're having homemade pizzas the pizza dough is rising as we speak and i'll show you some of the bits and bobs that we've got in the hall for that tomorrow we normally do like a sunday lunch but like we kind of make it summery like a sunday roast so we might do normally like a roast chicken with salad and potatoes or something like that but tomorrow we've been invited to, uh, last night we were at a wedding and they're kind of having a picnic on the field in the village tomorrow as part of that to like round their weekend off and we're going to that. So I haven't really planned that out so I'm going to just like, we're going to have a bit of a cobbled together picnic thing with maybe some grown up salads that I'll talk to you about when I show you what I've got and maybe some sandwiches for the kids and some fruit and things like that um yeah that will go on into tea time so i think that will actually do for like a main our main meal so on monday we're having broccoli pasta so if you're familiar with my videos you'll notice that i have broccoli pasta on there quite a lot and there's several ways that i do broccoli pasta sometimes i make it with like i fry off some garlic and anchovies and capers and, and then have some parsley that make it quite kind of grown up and sophisticated taste uh, and i always cook the broccoli in with the pasta that's like the best thing to do it makes it really soft and it breaks down sometimes i make it creamy and add a bit of pesto sometimes i put a bit of cream cheese in it's a really really good one i'm doing a vlog at the minute that's the v there and the v there about pasta sauces that cook in the same time as the pasta so i'm going to feature that on an upcoming vlog so watch out for that i've not quite decided on what which variant of broccoli pasta i'm going to do I might even do it with a bit of bacon, that's quite nice. Um, yeah, so SC Chilean Rice, that's a slow cooker Chilean rice. On Tuesdays, Arthur has started to go to like a little football club and it's at quite an awkward time. It starts at 5.15 and so I need something kind of done so that when we walk through the door at 6.15 back from there, we have to have like a snack before we go. We have to have something that's just done. So either normally it's like jacket potatoes or something like that. I'm gonna make um, it in the slow cooker. I've been getting really into like dump and go slow cooker recipes. I'll link that video to this one so it comes on afterwards. Um, I didn't used to think you could just sling things in the slow cooker and go. You can with certain recipes. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try chili in there with some brown rice that I'll show you in a sec. And um, we're gonna have that with like Greek yogurt, grated cheese, coriander, all the usual good stuff. Um, on Wednesday, I'm gonna do my prawn courgette pasta. So. I have, I'll show you the prawns. I always buy like raw frozen prawns. They're great. You can just sling them straight into the sauce. I'll chop up some courgette really fine. Again, there's so many variants on that type of thing. I think I'm going to do like a creamy sauce with a bit of pesto. The kids tend to really like that. Um, on Thursday, we're going to have salmon. Make sure we get our fish quota for the week. I always try and have fish on there like at least once a week. So I'm just going to do like salmon fillets and the kids bizarrely really like quinoa so if you've never tried quinoa on your kids give it a go so one cup of quinoa two cups of water in a pan cold water bring it to the boil lid on simmer until it's all soaked up about 10 12 minutes it's i once told them it was like pasta like tiny pasta and they just accept that and, and they have theirs plain but then for the adults i'll put in like i'll make it almost like into a tabbouleh lots of herbs maybe some like toasted nuts in there some tomatoes and cucumber and the kids can have the tomatoes and cucumber on the side and like some nice fresh Greek yogurt sauce with it or something like that. Uh, so that's going to be a nice summery one. On Friday we're off on our holidays. So yeah, it's a bit of a brief meal plan this week because the picnic and the holidays and it's just pizzas tonight. So yeah, but I wanted to share it with you nevertheless. Here is what I got. It was £100, give or take a couple of pennies and we'll start over here. Arthur's on a bit of a crisp odyssey and he's really excited about all the different flavours of crisps you can get because he said to me the other day that he thought you could only get cheese and onion, salt and vinegar and really salted and I thought I'm going to teach you all about crisps. He saw these on an advert or something and I was like, I, I told him I'd got him them as a surprise and he was really happy so huh, simple pleasures. Yeah, so some flame grilled steak crisps for R, T and B. 
Um, this is really good. It's a new product by Kellogg's. It's a no added sugar granola. I have I have got uh, gestational diabetes. Like it's not. I'm I'm coping with it really well just by diet and testing fine. And they're happy with my progress. And I can I can seem to tolerate quite a few things that a few people I know who also have it can't tolerate. So I can tolerate that with some whole milk and even a couple of berries in. And I'll follow it with like peanut butter on toast or something or like eggs just to kind of counteract the um carbs in there but it's really nice that i'm trying one with apricot and pumpkin seeds they also have one with coconut which is good yeah talking about gestational diabetes it's so hot and so i've been craving cordial and i can drink the cordial with no added sugar so i've got two of those it was two for two pounds there's quite a lot of things of two two of them today because there's a lot of two for two pounds and that type of deal Whole wheat pasta is so much better for you and it's better for GD as well, gestational diabetes. So I've got, this was on an offer, two for two pounds, I think it was, Fuseli and Penne. Um, I always say to Adam, do you want anything? And he always says gherkins and he always says Branston pickle and I always forget. So this week I didn't forget, so they're for him. Well, actually, they're, do you know what? They're really nice and I might actually have one for this. That is for my slow cooker chili. I wasn't sure that we had any. We are out right now of capers and anchovies, so that's those, because I might do a kind of more grown up take on the broccoli pasta. The passata is really good for pizzas, and we'll only use about half of that, and then I'll kind of have that in the fridge, and I'll either use it in some kind of breakfast dish, or uh, I might put it into one of those pasta dishes or something, I'll figure it out. Pesto, I might have some in the cupboard, but I wasn't sure, so I lay too lazy to check. I just got another jar, because we always use lots of pesto. Jalapenos for our chili. Brown rice in a microwave packet. Absolute legendary uh, family food product. I love it. So, I mean, I do cook brown rice when I'm not being lazy, but these are so good and they are so quick and the kids eat them and they're just winning all round. <laughs> uh, eggs, we already had about six eggs in and we are on holiday this week. I normally get 12, so I only got six. So, uh, loo roll, no need to explain that one. <laughs> Uh, because I've got diabetes, I'm eating a lot more kind of savoury breakfast than maybe I normally would. So I'm having more bacon type breakfast. So I've got this good quality bacon. Adam actually tells me off for buying meat from the supermarket and says, go and support the butchers. And I do support our butchers and I feel guilty every time I buy meat from the supermarket, but it's convenience, isn't it? So I do still support our butchers, but I haven't done this week. Sorry, local butchers. <laughs> Salmon is so good for gestational diabetes. B as well, and Adam are massive salmon heads. Adam doesn't, uh, sorry, Arthur doesn't actually eat smoked salmon, but the rest of us do. We always have that for breakfast. Used to be like a real luxury product, didn't it, this? But, I mean, it's still not that cheap, but it's very affordable, and it's really good with eggs for breakfast. So, over to the cheese. I bought, I thought I was buying my Tesco cheap cheese, uh, you know, che the cheapest soft cheese, but it's like I've ended up with a really slim packet of quite posh looking soft, anyway, Tesco soft cheese, <laughs> full fat, um, that's always on offer, it's really good for just jacket potatoes and that type of thing, halloumi, I'm gonna do a halloumi and lentil and courgette salad that's gone down really well recently when I've made it for tomorrow's picnic, um, Parmesan, yeah, we ran out. Hummus, we all eat a lot of hummus. The kids like it after school with carrot sticks and stuff. I have it for lunch. This Greek yogurt. So I am a full fat girl, as I always say. I think it's better for you, but this yogurt, apparently, um, someone told me it's got, oh, I can't bother to think about it. Anyway, apparently it's just as good for you and it's lower in fat, yeah. <laughs> Because uh, I always worry that low fat products kind of they've replaced them, the fat with sugar, but I don't know, apparently I haven't with that. So this is how I meat selection. I bought this a few times recently. It's really good for topping with pizza, topping pizzas off for a bit of breakfast with eggs. Or sometimes just like, if the kids are really hungry, I'll just like let them grab a slice out of the fridge. Uh, I've got some organic mints. Again, I probably should have got that from our local butchers, but I'm being a bit lazy because I've got quite a lot on this week. Uh, that is for the chili. Frozen raw prawns, I really like cooking with frozen raw prawns, they're so, you know if you're putting prawns into a hot dish, do it with raw ones and not cooked, because when you put cooked prawns into a dish and, and you're going to cook them again, they go a bit kind of furry and overcooked, that's my little tip. <laughs> so just some really normal salmon fillets, we always get them uh, on the, with the skin on and I fry them skin side down, make the skin really nice and crispy. Um, 
two packets of ham because I'm going to do some, some ham sandwiches for the kids for tomorrow's picnic uh, and again it's good for breakfast and stuff we were out of onions we were out of garlic um, red onions I really like having red onions in the house for salad and so on and talking of salad I've got two bags of salad I like this one with the mixture of stuff some herbs for my tabbouleh quinoa and also for the salads I'm making I accidentally ordered two lots of courgettes and obviously at one point I was thinking order them loose to save on plastic and they come in that anyway and then at the next point I obviously forgot about that uh, ethos and um, just ordered those yep just pregnancy brain ordered too many courgettes <laughs> uh, tomatoes I like getting the big tomatoes like this at this time of year and I always leave them out on the windowsill to ripen up and then I get the mixed ones as well they're really nice they look so pretty all different shapes of sizes in the tomato salad as well I got one lime and that is for the lentil I've got some lentils in the cupboard by the way I got them in last week's shop lentil courgette and halloumi salad that's for because I put a bit of lime on Melon because it's so good for pudding after meals in the summer. Bananas, uh, everyone eats. Well, actually, that's not true. The kids don't particularly like bananas, but they'll have them in pancake mix, like squashed up, you know, banana pancakes, and they will have them in smoothies and things like that. Loads of berries because they're very diabetes friendly. And I think that is it. Guys, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed my Tesco um, weekly shop and also my meal plan. Do always drop me a comment to say hello. Remember to follow me on Instagram, Mrs. Rachel Brady, and also on Facebook, Mrs. Rachel Brady. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And that's all for now, guys. Bye.